Uh, Menace was talking about this. We were talking about it off the air. I yeah. Thought it, I thought it'd be interesting, you know, because I I don't know the answer for me. And yes. I, was, I was trying to find out. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I had such a weird high school experience. Right. I was in different high schools yeah, every year of high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, freshman year was in New Jersey at West Windsor Plainsboro. Sophomore and junior year were between boarding schools in Oregon, mm-hmm. Idaho, and Alabama. And then my senior year, and I graduated 1995 from uh, Mount Lebanon High School in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there was just I, so to say that I really knew. Who the star athlete was? Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, I like I, I remember this one kid, Kenny Gluck, and he was at you know West Windsor Plainsboro in uh, in New Jersey, and his dad was like the local prosecutor or something like that. Nice. I, I, one thing I remember about him is uh, senior year, he got caught up in one of those pranks, senior oh, pranks, oh, senior prank, where they let mice loose. Oh god, oh boy, and That's disgusting. they were telling him that he couldn't go to prom, and there was something about like you know graduation. But the prom thing is what his dad like threatened to sue the school over, because oh, the dad was a local prosecutor, and his dad was my little league coach, and then Kenny was on the team, and of course Kenny was always first string whatever he wanted, you know, and mm. it was it was just he was Kenny was a dick oh. at the time. He might be a great <clears throat> guy now. He could yeah. be like the new Mister Rogers. I have no idea, <laughs> yeah. but I was I was trying to find out. Uh, you know what happened to Kenny Gluck? Yeah, and I, I just What's don't update? know. I have no idea. Oh, you should give me I, a heads I up. I, I couldn't find it. Anything. Yeah, well, yeah, I could have did my research. Yeah, but yeah, no. The reason I I brought it up because you know we did a bunch of stuff with Burke Kreischer and the Machine movie, and of course all the stars are doing interviews. And the guy right. that played young Bert, Jimmy Tatro, Jimmy Tatro was uh, I think he was doing an interview with Barstool Sports, mm-hmm. and he was talking about people that he went to high school with and apparently he went to high school with Juan Carlo Oh, John Carlo Stanton. John who plays for the Yankees. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he was just talking about in high school that he was so good at everything that he thought he was actually going to play football, not baseball, but they just knew since that moment like this guy's going pro. Like mm. he could do anything that he wanted. So then I started thinking about, huh, what what about all the star athletes you know, who I went to high school with, what are they doing now? Yeah. And then I thought about a couple of them, and one of them went to jail for murder. Oh, my <laughs> God. One, yeah. One of the star athletes did? Yeah, like what really sport? good football. I was going to say. Yeah, basketball. No way, that was the golf team. Yeah. Right. <laughs> huh, yeah. Uh, I know there was one who had, like, this crazy DUI where he was, like, driving head-on towards cops. And then, like, another one, he oh just started. God. He ended up, well, you know, working for AAA. So no one ever really went pro. Yeah. I uh, one year my high school did go to like the state championship for basketball, but even like the tallest player would just be like I don't know, like the shortest player in the NBA. Right, so he right. wasn't really going to go anywhere. So I was just thinking, you hear about like all the star players, they have like just such a like a slim chance of actually making it. Oh yeah. to a, a pro level. And did then, you did you look into the case of the guy who went to jail for murder? Uh, yeah, they're they're still there. I know, but like, what happened? Oh, uh, I talked about it recently. There's actually a, a um, drug beef, or no, no. There's there's actually a Hulu documentary on it. Um, really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, it was uh, being Gwen. It's about uh, this transgender student that we had. Being Gwen. Okay. Yeah. And that was in your class. Yes. Wow. And this Gwen person, I'm assuming, is the one that got murdered by yes. the athlete. By one of the athletes, yeah. Huh. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. All right. Putting that on my watch list. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So no no real schooling going on where no, this went. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there, no. There were all kinds of other stuff. Yeah. All this stuff happening. Uh, what about you, uh, Greg Gorey? I'm thinking that the star athlete, it to me, it always means football. Yeah, because like you're not gonna have oh he's the best swimmer or the best golfer like you said. Well, I would say like football, the, basketball, baseball. Right. Definitely nobody from my high school went pro in anything. I don't know if anybody went beyond high school sports, let alone you know going into college sports. But the guy that was the star football player was also the guy that every girl loved. Like he was, like you know the just the absolute pinnacle the for, Zach the, Morris. for the chicks. He was Zach Morris. <laughs> yeah, and everybody loved him. And I thought 
this is kind of when I leaned towards liking girls. I thought I was very jealous. I'm like, why do you like him so much? He's not good looking. He's not funny. He was kind of a dick, but he was a great football player, and that's all they cared about. So I did look him up, knowing that you wanted to talk about this, and completely bald, <laughs> very fat, <laughs> lives in a double wide trailer, kind of in the woods. But he really? is married, and he seems wow. super happy. His uh, Facebook page, which is where where I found him, really nice things to say. Like he's not a dick or anything like that. But uh, he did not uh, age well. <laughs> Didn't age well. And look at you. On the other side, yeah, no, Greg, you yeah. blossomed. <laughs> yeah, Greg's like a fine wine. Oh God, I wish. Yeah, I wish. This guy's aging like a hamburger in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but he looks quite uh, woodsy. Yeah, you know what woodsy. I mean? woodsy. Yeah. Woodsy. He yeah. looks woodsy. Uh, Ray, what about you? Well, I don't know any high school athletes from you know back in my time. Plum Burrow. Um, Plum. We did have fr- somebody from Plum. His name is R.J. Umberger, who ended up in the NHL. Yeah. Really? Which is exciting. He played yeah. for the Flyers and the Blue Jackets. I can tell you that the president of my senior class, his name was John. He, I believe he, the tr- charge was manslaughter. Oh, my God. Oh, he, wow. he got into a fight in a park and beat this guy to death. Jeez. Man, what so the hell is going on with, like, Brady and <laughs> Menace? Whoa. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't know, because he didn't set out to kill this guy. So that's mm-hmm. why I think it was like a manslaughter oh. or maybe a third degree murder charge. How many people were in your graduating class? What was 300. The... Oh, that's not too yeah. huge. Yeah. Menace? How... About the same. Yeah. yeah. Mine was like 200. Okay. But Woody, yours is like 2,000, right? Well, it depends on the school. Yeah. Like Westerns or Plainsboro was a massive school in yeah. Jersey. Uh, Mount Lebanon High School in Pittsburgh is a massive high school. Mm-hmm. Ton of kids there. Because my theory was going to be that school's got seven floors. Yeah. For Menace and Ravy to be best friends with murderers. <laughs> My theory right. was going to be that your, <laughs> your your class size is so huge that it's oh, just the yeah. law of averages. Yeah, right. like somebody's going to murder somebody. Yeah, you know, but no, three hundred is not big. <laughs> yeah. Now, if anybody's going to have any kind of frame of reference, it was the glory days for Sammy because not only does she say that, like, man, I didn't think high school it got any better than that. She I loved, loved it. high school. She yeah. loved high school. Cheerleader. It's yeah, she was best. a cheerleader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was so, bummed when it ended. Yeah. So were the cheerleaders, by the way, because I only remember them being like at football games. Did you guys have to do other sports as well? Yes. So we cheered up basketball games. Basketball, we would cheer sense. for volleyball once they were in the volleyball. playoffs. Oh, we were sweet. really good at every sport they'd be like hey nice. we need you to go to the soccer game they're like in the championship we'd be like okay so we would just go to other sports when they were in the playoffs and doing really well okay sweet yeah did right, anybody so, go pro yeah the, yes. who was, yeah what, what happened to the star athlete i'll go with um shane vereen he was a sophomore when i was a senior but he was on varsity he was very good so i still cheered for what him. sport football football and he went to Cal. He was a running back. And then he got drafted by the Patriots. He nice. played Whoa. for four years during the dynasty with like Gronk, wow. Edelman, Brady. That's he got awesome. a Super Bowl Whoa. ring. That's no wonder she knows Seattle. so much about him because she's a Patriots <laughs> <Yeah>. fan. <Wow. laughs> right, yeah. He went to the he went to the Giants after that. Uh and now he's an analyst for college Pac twelve. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So things turned out okay yeah. for him. Damn. Yeah. yeah, no murder. Meanwhile, yeah, Menace is a high school athlete <laughs> murdering people. He's in prison. People. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's, he, it was really good. I mean, really that's good. incredible. And, I mean, I had math class with him, and he was a sophomore, and I was a senior, so put that together. <laughs> yeah. And he was in varsity as, as a sophomore? Yeah. He was very good. He was very smart. He was very nice. He was everything that you would hope the star yeah. athlete would be. I want to yeah, marry what him. What happened to the other cheerleaders? <laughs> He's got money. How like how gross and fat are they now? Like the Who? other cheerleaders that you. Uh, oh yeah. How busted are they? Yeah right. No, they're not. Because that's what the other women want to hear about. Like, the other girls from the school, they want to hear about how fat and ugly all the cheerleaders got. Right. Like, they want to see, uh, you know, Greg's uh, high school athlete guy who's balding, <laughs> living in the double wide out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff that you really want to hear. Right. Well, I, I mean, I hate to break it to you guys, but I think that more of the cheerleaders I knew lost weight since high school. Oh, they glowed up? Really? really? Yeah. Wow. Lost weight nice. since high school? Yeah. That's cool. No kidding. Yep. How do you do that? I thought everybody's like, you know, lowest Peach weight ever was shape. like, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that was like you've you looked back. I couldn't gain a pound yeah. if you paid me in high school. <laughs> mm, I yeah. Now I gain a pound of looking Just at thinking it. About <laughs> it. Yeah, thinking about it. Yeah. yeah, since the last commercial break, Greg's gained five pounds. Uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> uh, you know, my my dad likes to say about how he got to see Dan Marino play in high school. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, damn. Because yeah. yeah. they were in the same school. Well, not the same school, but they were in the uh, they they played in the same district. Oh, I see. Same, the, the, okay. school, the schools played each gotcha. other. Gotcha. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I always trip out when I think about high school because, you know, we can all look at each other and think, oh, we've worked together. And I even forget how many years we've all worked together. Right. But when you think of high school, it feels like it's your life. It's a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's four years. Right right now, four years. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember four years ago. High Mm -hmm. school, it's your entire life. I remember a ton. But see, the difference is also time moves slower when you're a kid. It does. Mm -hmm. Right. Time goes faster as you get older. That's true. Also... When you're in school, it's like a mandatory thing. Mm-hmm. You have to be there. You're required to be there. So I think that makes it also feel a little bit longer. Yeah. Prison. You know, like my kids, you know, getting out for a summer break. I'm like, man, it feels like the year just started. Right. Not when you're a kid. Oh, oh forever. It's yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel that way. It's like more like a prison sentence. Mm-hmm. But remember yeah. the, Unless you're Sammy. There's milestones in high school as well. Like I remember you had to be a junior to drive to school. Yeah. And the yeah. first time I drove to school, I thought, this is so weird. I'm driving to school. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. I loved high school as well. I had a ton of fun. Yeah. I didn't hate it. Yeah. I wish I wish that I had been able to go to Mount Lebanon for all four years. Yeah. That was definitely mm-hmm. the nicest mm-hmm. of all the schools. Like, you mm-hmm. know, the one in Jersey yeah. was nice too. But man, Mount Lebanon High School was so cool. The Next a- level. AstroTurf football stadium. Nice. Wow. Like, yeah. It was it was dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now have... they have this huge, like, um, uh, like uh, what, what would they call it? Like, uh, like aquatic center. Oh wow! wow. Greg wow. loved it. Jeez! Yeah, with all the swimming and water polo that you did, whatever. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You got to see. I, I'm going to pull up a satellite image view. You'll see it. It's like a goddamn. <laughs> it's college. like a college. <laughs> yeah. Campus. yeah. Oh my Massive. god! I just looked it up. Yeah. It's it's so Dude, nice. It does look like a college. Yeah. It's so nice. It's really nice. Oh wow! Look at that football stadium. I'm telling you. It's it's crazy. Crazy.